Coral reefs play an important role in providing shelter to lagoons from waves. This allows for the growth of shallow seagrass meadows, which support a variety of sea creatures. But as sea levels rise, the added water depth allows larger, more energetic waves to move over reefs. The change in water depth also impacts the reef itself, with the increase in depth allowing more room for coral to grow upwards. The size of the waves passing over the reef are determined by water depth. This is influenced by sea level rise and coral growth. But what is the effect of these changes on other ecosystems, like seagrass? At the Global Change Institute at the University of Queensland, we've conducted the first study showing how interactions amongst distinct ecosystems affect their response to climate change. To do so, we collected information at Lizard Island on the Great Barrier Reef. First, we measured water depth, wave height, and the distribution of marine habitats to see how environmental conditions affected the distribution of seagrass. Next, Using mathematical models to simulate sea level rise, we were able to predict if seagrass could survive future wave conditions. Our results showed that seagrass presence was strongly determined by the rate in which sea level increased and whether or not coral growth could keep up. Unfortunately, based on the predicted rates of sea level increase and coral reef growth over the next century, it is unlikely coral reefs would be able to provide the shelter required for the persistence of seagrass meadows in shallow reef lagoons. This means the health of coral reefs is critical to the sustainability of seagrass. We need to protect reefs from other local stressors like overfishing, being smothered by sediment and pollution so they can continue to grow upwards and provide the shelter required for sustaining seagrass. The good news is that by taking care of coral reefs, we will help them and other ecosystems adapt to climate change.